ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome to my channel today's video is an intro to everyone that wants to know me or wants to know whom am i the answer is pretty simple i am every woman so let's get into it well um a little background on who i am I am Zintlem Kize from Pochepston. Uh, it's a small town in the South Coast KZN. And um, basically, I'm just a girl, a woman, that is trying to break all the boundaries and go for what she wants. I feel like that just explains who I am better. Um, well, I did all my education this side, primary and high school, and then when I wanted to do the my you know, my tertiary studies, I went to the Eastern Cape. I studied at Walter Sisulu. Shout out! <laughs> and um, yeah, I feel like most of my um, lessons in life and everything that I want to share with you is basically based on that experience. You know, just picking up and deciding to go. You know, because that's literally what I did. I didn't know anyone that side, um, except for the for my friend, the one that um was already that side and um helped me with the application and everything. So I love you so much. We're still best friends, and um, oh yeah, man. Um, so yeah, so that whole experience going that side, not knowing anyone, not knowing um the place itself, and but. Jay striving through it and winning because sis came with all her qualifications and in record time um yeah man i'm proud of myself i'm proud of that whole experience and i want to share that with you so basically this um youtube channel is for every woman that every woman every young girl that is um growing up and trying to learn themselves and um it's just to show you that it doesn't matter where you come from your background um you can do it you can do it all you just need to do is get rid of that thing that says listen i i'm scared no get rid of that and just go you know, so that's what happened with me. I just decided to say, no, you know, I, I don't, I'm done. I'm tired of being in my comfort zone. I want to explore. So, yeah, that's what happened with me. And um, here I am today. So, um, let's get into the questions that you guys asked me. So, first question is, what inspired you to open a YouTube channel? Um to be honest i've been wanting to do it but i guess i had the you know that problem of what ifs so it, i just decided to say you know what what if it works you know instead of saying what if it fails i said what if it works and i had like i know there are some friends of mine that are like finally she did it they have been pushing me because um i i i i do have that Sad to me that is a a creator an entertainer you know so basically just i want to yeah i wanted to start this channel in order for me to be able to not only entertain but also share my two cents to life and also um you know i'm all i'm all about women and empower woman empowerment so this is a very better platform it's i can reach a bigger community and i can be able to do what i've been doing on my whatsapp and instagram but at a broader spectrum so yes i hope that answers your question next question is how many kids do you want to have and what can't you leave without except your son yo this is a tough one yo my son is my life my son is my life um i think it would be my family i can't leave without my family and when it comes to the side of how many kids do you want i wanted four kids before i i, I had my son 
but now I'm good with one. <laughs> yeah. You'll know why. You'll know why as soon as I post the video about my birth experience. Okay. So yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> um, okay. Next question is, I'm using my grand's phone guys, because my phone is the one I'm using to record. Anyways, where do you see yourself in five years? Where do I see myself in five years? I see myself in the billboard, sis. <laughs> I'm joking. But yes, I do see myself at as a well-known um, woman empowerment activist, a well-known businesswoman. Um, and yeah, guys, I see myself making a lot of difference in the world. And yeah, man being very influential and yeah man so yeah i hope that answers your question next question is how was your birth experience and would you do it again <laughs> i was expecting this one um how was my birth experience yo it was flames <laughs> okay yo my goodness and you know what that that one actually deserves a whole um video on its own so i want to do a video explaining to you my birth experience as well as um just giving you guys the raw truth about birth i feel like all the youtube channels i watched were a scam they were a scam okay don't do it. Don't think you're going to prepare yourself for Beth using YouTube channel, YouTube videos. Okay. Let me tell you, <laughs> I will tell you the raw truth guys. Okay. So please oh, stay tuned for that video. And the, I, would I do it again? And uh, no. Okay. Never. What's your love language? You guys, my love language is all five of them okay i want to be touched i want to be i want to hear words of affirmation okay i want gifts i want um acts of service okay okay maybe let me just break it down to you words of affirmation tell me how you feel tell me what i mean to you reassure me every now and then guys i'm that person also touch all right yes show me love through touch um it doesn't even have to be sex guys you know um just i'm chilling next to you holding my hand you are you know those things man if you're my friend you know this i'd be walking with my friend and i'm that person that would grab their ass and it's just that you know because i enjoy it um so i show love in the same way okay um yeah man so how many relationships have you been in and how many were serious and what's your current relationship status <laughs> okay how many relationships have i been in yes i've been in a couple of relationships um but ones that were serious were only three yes there were only three and my current relationship status is i am single and not ready to mingle so how, how old were you when you started dating when i started dating i think i was like 14. <laughs> but um the the serious um yeah but my first serious relationship was when i was in I think I was 17 or 18. Yeah. So, yeah, I think the ones when I was 14 don't really count because, I mean, uh, <laughs> they were a joke. Okay, they were a joke. <laughs> um, KFC or McDonald's? McDonald's, guys, they are pulled over, my goodness, to die for. So, yes, McDonald's. Um next question is um do you watch cartoons or you are too old for that <laughs> um yes i do watch cartoons but i feel like it's only because i have like a lot of um 
nephews and uh, and nieces so it's literally just uh, because i'm there so i end up watching and i end up enjoying them um how did you choose your son's name um well um um when when i when i when i chose my son's name i had i had in mind the way that i wanted to to raise him so i wanted to raise i want to raise a son that is diverse and literally has no boundaries in terms of where they go in life you know so i wanted to put that in my i had that in mind as well as um my uh, yeah as well as i um wanted a name that had a meaning so yeah man so when i thought of Takani, i felt like it does have meaning it means joy or be happy and um it's pretty diverse i mean i'm zulu and the name is a Zonga name, so very diverse if you ask me. Um, okay, the next question is what's your definition of a gold digger and were you ever one? <laughs> so some of the questions are intense, okay? Was I ever one? I think I'll save that for our never have i ever okay guys um but in terms of what's your definition of a gold digger i will say i don't really have a definition of a gold digger because for me i don't i don't really feel like it's appropriate to call people that because i believe in preference and if a person prefers money over love it's good if a person prefers love over money that's good for them if you prefer both even better so yeah man i think it's just like i really don't like this name because why are we name calling people you know um favorite sex position <laughs> guys <laughs> but i think wow no oh no what i'm not answering that Who's the last person you texted and did and what did you say to them? Who's the last person I texted? Yo, guys. Um I feel like the last person I texted was Zakona, my friend. She was asking me how many times I use my face mask and I told her that I use it three times a week. Three times a week. Um yeah, man. Um what's the next question are you a gossiper Ibo? what no me <laughs> um no hey i think i'm blessed to have friends that that just don't enjoy that don't have the time to sit around and talk about people well, yeah i mean guys honestly guys our lives are just too busy hey cp is it to be gossiping um what are your essentials on feminine hygiene yo guys this is very important and i feel like i also want to do a whole video on this but um and share just to be just to name a few um it's um what's this a guy near god um feminine wipes and cotton panties <laughs> yes so yeah man just clean water wash your vagina nicely i also like the dove um there's that pure dove yeah so i like also that you wash that wash with that and then rinse it off with clean water and then during the day when you are just going around and i mean you do pee at some point so use your feminine wipes and yeah man so yeah but i'll also do a video on all of that um like i said some of the questions i'll save them for our never have I ever video because i just need to be a bit for me to answer them if you have if you have to relocate which country would you go to and why which country would i go to and why 
yo i've never really thought of this but because i love um i love shopping and i know that if paris is the spot so yes i think i'd probably relocate to to paris but i don't know i think i still need to think about this one favorite coat it's by maya angelo it says that when one of one woman wins we all win and guys like i said i'm all about women empowerment i'm all about women uniting and being one so this code for me just goes an extra mile that we need to come together like if one female wins it shouldn't be a thing of competition you know clap for them good job i mean uh, it, it, the more we have women up there the better you know so yes i really love this quote and it resonates a lot with how i view things okay um yes do you think do you drink and what's your favorite wine so i do <laughs> i do drink guys i do my favorite wine at the moment is r and r yes repair and rothschild so those are my that's one of my favorite at the moment it's a dry red wine and yeah so guys that's it with the questions and my intro slash q a um thank you so much thank you so much for watching and i hope that was enough information to give you a little idea of who i am and the whole purpose of this youtube channel and i hope that yeah you enjoyed it and if you have any questions or yeah you want to know more please comment down below and also if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do so um also yeah if you haven't followed me on instagram please do so and yeah man that's it for today thank you so much guys mm -hmm.